Hey you, so on this video, why do you stack gold and silver? I wanted to put this question out there for you guys to answer as to why you actually stack gold and silver. I'm going to go over, um, I'd say five of my top reasons as to why I stack gold and silver. But it'd be fantastic to hear from individuals, whether they may be similar to mine, exactly like mine, or absolutely different from mine, as to why you choose to purchase gold or purchase silver stack gold or stack silver so this video here is just going to go over the reasons as to why i personally stack gold and silver and get some answers from you guys as to why you do it so i would say reason number one as to why i stack gold and silver is going to be uh protection of my purchasing power so hedge against inflation i mean nobody likes to know that they've say for instance a hundred dollars a hundred pounds sterling euros whatever just just a small example and you know later down the line whether it be a month a day a year 10 years down the line that 100 is no longer 100 it's technically 75 or 80 i mean we're talking about the dollar i believe that's lost 95 percent of its purchasing power so no one wants to know that that actually happened now the way i see it a lot of people would be livid absolutely livid if they put 100 in and then technically was only offered to take 70 or 80 back out this is the way individuals see things they see it really one-dimensional whereas when you're losing your purchasing power 100 is still 100 it just buys you a lot less uh, i think if people really had a deep understanding of that that they was really being bamboozled they'd be furious but people don't see it that way, the way individuals see it, and I've, I've, I've noticed this from individuals I closely talk to, um, they just see it as if there's still 100 in there and they put 100 in, you know, five, ten years ago, then nothing's happened. So this is why I, one of the reasons as to why I stack gold and silver, and that's because it's an absolute, well, some would argue not the best, but, you know, there aren't many other things you can put into. Everything goes up and down. Nothing's really stayed absolute. So, you know, it is one of the best forms for a hedge against inflation and protect your purchasing power. And that is one of the top reasons as to why I purchase and stack gold and silver. Now, the reason number two for me is going to be that it's a different form of saving outside of the banking system. So... When you think about your own personal savings, there's only a few things you can do. I mean, once upon a time, the mattress was your best friend. But today, you, you're led to believe, many actually believe that it's mandatory to save within the banking system. You have to have your funds. They don't know no other way. And that's because the system's technically built like that. If you get a job, you know, cash in hand, for especially a high-paying job, is this... this you're the odd one out so you know they want to be paying you <laughs> they're not going to pay you in gold and silver which would be fantastic or even crypto so it's always going to be some type of a bank transfer or a wire transfer how you're going to be receiving your funds so the system is technically rigged for individuals to not second guess it but you don't have to use these um, forms of savings when we're talking about the banking system in general individuals are under the impression that you do but you don't but there isn't many other options unless you come down the gold and silver route so it i do see the benefits to the normal banking system it does most definitely have benefits people complain about going cashless when technically we technically are there you know it's very rare individuals are paying with cash nowadays it's the convenience but i would say i veer away from it when it comes to savings just because of the crashes it has and how reckless the banks and the individuals running them can be with your money and where you actually stand along the line of should something go wrong what do they owe you your money is not guaranteed within the same purchasing power you're not guaranteed your money the bank whichever bank you may be banking with or who you may have your savings with goes fully under so for me it's the best form. I mean, it's been money throughout all of history, throughout known history. And it's the best, I would say, alternative if you come outside of banking system altogether. It's in your control. So that's going to be reason number two as to why I stack gold and silver. And that's going to be because it is a different and I would say one of the best. There are many other things, but it's one of the best for when you're looking to put some of your savings outside of the banking system. So the next 
reason, reason number three as to why I snack gold and silver is because it's something tangible and of worth that I can pass down to my kids. Once again, it's not going to be the only thing. You have stuff like property and art also that's being used to pass down throughout the history when you're passing it down to your loved ones or your kids that they can inherit. And these things have gone on to be tangible and of worth. So this here is something that I like and also feel about, you know, it's, you know, physical it's something that you're in total control of when the time comes and you know what it is it's protecting your purchasing power it is a form you know it is a savings outside of the banking system so as we're on reason number three here it's also something tangible and of worth that you can pass down with a bit of confidence you know if you've got i don't know six digits that you're looking to pass down to your loved ones we all know what can happen with that straight away from the first two that i've mentioned you can have a situation where the purchasing power has been lost in that that 100k can go down as once mentioned and also on reason number two as i stated you can have a situation where the bank may go under we may have another financial crash and then the savings that you've left for your loved ones are that practically down the drain and they're left getting back bananas or whatever they choose to substitute it with so it's going to be my reason number three it's something of worth and tangible that i can hand down to my kids so for reason number four i'm going to say gold and silver are real life insurance in my eyes you know real life insurance i would say Nowadays, you get offered insurance for everything. I mean, I recently I purchased my son a laptop, and when you're in there, you're getting it shoved down your throat. It's, it's, it's going to be the hard pitch sell that they give you within the time you picked up your product, regardless of where you are these days. You know, you'll be there, and last thing you know, hey, are you interested in this? That, that that cover and this protection cover or that, and 10 years guaranteed, and all the likes of. And it's got to the point where um, I literally need to push with both hands and scream no but because they're trying their hardest to sell it to you now i'm very salty about that because i've been screwed over a few times with these insurances you know i've been told that cash out it was damn near cover you the item picked itself up and back flipped off the top floor and smashed into pieces you would be covered come time to claim though it's a different story you don't get that same friendly service you got from the salesperson to, to start off with you get the interrogation then you get the nowadays we have individuals that send out a third party inspection and then you basically get told it's not covered or it didn't cover that and you know you're gonna have to pay a fee and i've had it one too many times where i've just thought screw this there's been many situations where it would have been easier for me to not take out that insurance and when the product did get faulty i mean majority of products are now covered for 12 months anyway if something's going to go wrong within that time frame you're covered by the manufacturer or the shop itself you're purchasing from but other than that i've been screwed over where it would have been easier for me to not have taken out any form of insurance when the product went wrong either buy a new one or get it repaired and pay it on the spot so a lot of these insurances nowadays whether it's life insurance and the likes of which is still very good to take can be very misleading you know getting it and paying for it on a monthly basis is one thing when it's time to claim you could be waiting for days months you know there's been longer periods that i've personally heard of so when you have this here within your own physical arm's reach should anything could go wrong when i'm saying real life insurance anything go wrong from a financial crash to uh emergency operation you need a new lung or whatever anything within your own life and your loved one's lives you can reach out and grab this you don't have to wait you don't need to speak to robots on the phone you don't have to go over hurdles you have your emergency fund right there within your own control and you're the number one boss of that you control it you know you don't need to be interrogated to make feel like i do understand individuals out there have abused the system and that's why they've made it a lot harder for individuals to claim but in the end of the day they need to create a system where an individual that doesn't claim and abuse a system can also benefit from it and if it's set up where you know they'll gladly take but time time come time for them to give you then start getting the hurdles and the interrogation it's not really worth it especially if you can save and gain more by replacing the product when should it come faulty or buying a new one so with a lot of these kind of things this was just straight up my street when it came to gold and silver any issues i've had should they come about any mishaps or unforeseen circumstances i'm always confident and happy to know that i've got it with arm's reach and that's going to be reason number four as to why i stack gold and silver it's real life insurance real for whoever the individual may be now getting on to my last reason as to why i stack gold and silver 
it's going to be because I can. You know, I've done videos in the past where I've put out numbers individuals which I feel could be decent numbers for individuals to stack in. Individuals have got back to me and mentioned that the average individual can't do that. It's unreasonable. And now I heard that. So when I say because I can, it's put out there that the average individual doesn't even have any forms of savings. You know, they was or they had to call upon a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars. They couldn't do it. There's individuals, many individuals out there that are living paycheck to paycheck. They're one paycheck away from disaster. So if you're one of the fortunate that's in a situation or a position where you can, you do have that luxury, be it hard work, be it you inherited your wealth, be it you done whatever it took to be in that position where you can actually afford to break off and put some of your funds and savings into metals, then you're in a fantastic position. Not to forget all these people that are out there that ain't in that position. So it's one of the, the, the last and fifth reason as to why I do stack it, because I can, plus the four that I put prior to this. So that's going to be why I stack gold and silver. Once again, it'd be fantastic if you guys put down why you stack gold and silver. They're similar to mine, let me know in the comments. If they're different than mine, let me know in the comments. If you've got some totally different and want to put some reasons down, let me know in the comments. So, hey, all love it, guys. It'd be fantastic to know what you guys think of this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys on the rebound.